question number six. Order. <laughs> question number six, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, this question is to the Minister for Māori Development and asks, does he stand by all his statements? The Honourable Te Urara Flavel. Can I welcome Mr Speaker, kia ora tato, aye, in the context they were given. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Does his statement, and I quote him, I deny absolutely any involvement in the changing of Hansard, end of quotes, mean that it is a strange coincidence that the Hansard office, with precise audio and video records, should change the exact same word in the exact same sentence as he did when he made a personal explanation to the House yesterday? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Tarawa Flavel, as far as he has ministerial responsibility. I stand by my statements and any issues with respect to Hansard should, we, should be referred to the Speaker. <laughs> Point of order. Point of order, the Right Honourable Winston Speaker, Peters. If he's going to put you into the debate, that's where we were yesterday. And with respect, that's not an answer. I'm asking him about his involvement, not whether you were involved. We'll order. get to that shortly. Order. And the answer was given, he denies any involvement. So the answer's been given. Move forward with further supplementaries. Yeah, I'll do that. Supplementary. No, no, he's smarter than you. He can answer better order, than you. Order, order. Can we just You're have a thick, a actually. Supplementary. Oh, yes, she is. Did he receive any advice or instruction from the Speaker before. Oh, we know who's got the expert now. Order. The orange Ruffy. Order. Order. <laughs> I, I, at this stage, I'm not going to rule the question out because I'm quite careful to be answered, but be very careful not to involve, bring the Speaker into this debate. Let's have the question without the interjections coming from any side. From whom did he receive advice or instruction before question time yesterday telling him to correct his statements in the House as stated by his Māori Party colleague Marama Fox when she said, and I quote her, he had to make the statement to correct the Hansard as per Speaker's orders, end of quotes. Honourable Tuvaha Flavel. Mr Speaker, I've no responsibility for my colleague Marama Fox, and that issue was dealt with yesterday by my statement to the House. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. No, I have a point of order first, I hope. Uh, the I asked, Winston I asked from whom did he get any advice or instruction? And he's not answering the question. No, no, you then brought in uh, a colleague and he referred to that part. Supplementary question, Madam Mr. Fox. Speaker. Uh, order. Point of order, sir. Mr. Order, Speaker. Order. Can I just? I just want to be clear because I don't want the minister complaining about or the member complaining about unfair treatment. I've dealt with the manner as to whether that question was answered. If the member has a fresh point of order, only too happy to hear it. But I'm not prepared to relitigate the issue as to whether the last supplementary has been addressed by the minister. Mr. Speaker. Point order. Of order. Oh, I think we have a fresh point of order. We have a fresh point of order, Mr. Speaker. Fresh point of order, the right honourable. I recited as evidence Marama Fox's statement. Order, Nothing more than order. that. Order. I'm going to have to ask the member to leave the chamber. I just explained to him that I've ruled on that matter. He then, will the member please resume his seat? I've made a ruling, and uh, I said to the member I would not entertain under any circumstances a further litigation. And the member says, I'm raising a fresh point of order. I interpret that to be repeating and relitigating a decision I've made. Well, that's the way I interpret it. Now, if it's a fresh point of order and we're moving past the last supplementary, I'm happy to hear it. But if, if when the member raises the fresh point of order and I interpret it as simply another mechanism of relitigating what's already occurred, then I will not hesitate to be asking the member to leave the chamber for the balance of question time. Fresh point of order. Well, fresh point of order. I quoted the statement and I seek leave now because it's in dispute to table it. Leave is sought to table. Can I just now, so I'm clear before I decide to put the leave, can I be clear as to what leave, what the leave is that the member's seeking? What does he want to table? I seek leave to table the evidence of the statement that he had made. Order. Had I now need the source and the date. It is a, a, a media. No, no. It's a media report of the exact comment, and I can go to my office and get it for you now if that's what you want. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it because, as I've told the member on many occasions, the tabling of documents is to assist providing further information. If it's a media report and members are interested, they can go and source it for themselves, so I won't be putting the leave. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. 
Uh, to the Minister, does the Minister have an opinion of how much of his valuable time has been spent defending baseless allegations of the past two weeks? Will the Honourable to Ralph Level. Mr Speaker, oh, that's a very good question. There's so much to do and there's so little time. Uh, I'm anxious to get on with the huge amount of work that's ahead of us. And it's sad that the Labor Party, uh, with other colleagues like the New Zealand First Party, take up too much time in baseless allegations that they have no proof on. Submit a question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. If neither he nor his office attempted to change Hansard before question time yesterday, why, when asked, and here's the question, why did he change the Hansard before the statement yesterday, unquote, did his Māori Party colleague Marama Fox not deny the change, but answered, quotes, he corrected what he meant to say, end of quotes. The Honourable to Ralph Level. Mr Speaker, with respect to the first part of the question, that issue was dealt with yesterday. The record was corrected in the House by me. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, what on earth did he mean when he said yesterday in this House that one of the things he did discuss with the Chief Executive of Māori TV was, and I quote him, 100 million engagements per week, end of quotes. What was that about? The Honourable Speaker. to Ura level. Mr Speaker, as I pointed out in question time yesterday, it comes straight from a uh, draft statement of intent for Māori television service 24, uh, 2015. Uh, to 2018, uh, and I'm happy to table that uh, in a short space and time. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Can he confirm that Mr Maxwell and he are close friends? So close that when Mr Maxwell's appointment as CEO of Murray, Tele of Murray Television was being questioned, he was the only Member of Parliament to put out a press release defending him. And when Mr Maxwell was welcomed on to Puya Marai, he was the one, not the minister in charge, standing behind, beside him at that day. Insofar as his ministerial responsibility, the honourable uh, to your right level. Mr Speaker, the good thing about me is I've got many friends. <laughs> and one of my friends, Mr Speaker, once upon a time was that member whom I took on to, uh, to, to uh, Moirewa Morai to represent the National Party once upon a time. That's the, that's the width and the breadth of the friendship that I have, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Order. Uh, further supplementary. How, how did he... Order. 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 The how house. did he get his early order. training? Order. The House, and particularly on my right hand side, will now settle. Further supplementary. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Is it not a fact <laughs> where, where you're involved? You're 100% right. <laughs> is it not a fact that one of the reasons he saw Mr Maxwell on 20 May was to discuss program content and panel composition, composition because he couldn't face a debate with me? <laughs> That's right. Wait for it. Wait. And that, and that leaks from Maori TV, and that leaks from Maori TV will confirm that. Speaker. The Honourable Tiora Flavel. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I again reiterate that I did not uh, discuss any issues of content of that programme with uh, the Chief Executive. That's fact, and I'll put it on record in the Parliament. And the second part is on the same day that uh, the request was made, my office agreed to be on the panel uh, that was set out. So I don't see what the problem is. Move on. Yeah. Uh, so order. order. Further order. Further supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Why Peters. does he think he can make denials that are demonstrably untrue, such as no discussing of content, when the CEO has confirmed it and Māori TV is now leaking like a sieve? The Honourable to your off level. Mr. Mr Speaker, if he has that information, happy to respond to it, but at the moment, uh, based on yesterday's discussion, we have confirmation that Māori television gave uh, a directive some five or six days after that panel. They've, they changed it five or six days after the event. And, uh, and if there's things, to, talking about demonstrably wrong and accusations, if there's one person that's doing it, it's that member right now. Uh, point of order, Speaker. Point of order, 
Mr. Point, Speaker, of, I, point of order, the I, right honourable. I seek Winston some guidance Peter. from you because if it is right for a member to get up on a question that's been approved by the office, your office, to say it was all answered yesterday, then that surely cannot be allowed. We are entitled each day to answers to the question put that day. Order. I'm not sure exactly what the point of order is. The member's asked a very general question. Order. He's asked for some guidance. I'm happy to give it to him. He's asked a very general question and then followed with a line of supplementaries. My uh, uh, duty and responsibility here is to judge each one of those answers as to whether it has, has addressed the question. And I am quite satisfied that in each case it did. Point of order, the Honourable Turraf Level. I seek leave of the House to table the draft statement of intent for, Māori for the Māori Television Service for the years 2015 uh, to 2018. On the basis that it's a draft and therefore has not been published, I'll put the leave. Leave has uh, sought to table a draft a statement of corporate intent for MTV. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Que question number seven, Simon O'Connor.